Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we have a breaking story from Kenya. Protests against a tax raising bill have erupted into violence with police firing on demonstrators. Let's dive into the details. On Tuesday, Kenyan President William Ruto emphasized that security was his utmost priority after protests against a new tax bill turned violent. Demonstrators in Nairobi tried to storm the parliament building and police opened fire, killing at least five people. In Nairobi, the capital, protesters overwhelmed the police and attempted to enter the parliament compound. Citizen TV showed damage inside the building, which was partially set on fire. Protests and clashes also took place in other cities and towns across Kenya. Many protesters are calling for President Ruto to resign and are voicing their opposition to the tax increases. Government, treat us like, like are foreigners in this place. We are, we are rejecting every single, every single bill in that finance. We are rejecting it, every clause. We are, we are not asking for any amendment. In a televised address, President Ruto said the tax debate had been hijacked by dangerous people. He condemned the violence, calling it treasonous and promised a swift response. In Nairobi, police fired live bullets after tear gas and water cannons failed to disperse the crowds. They managed to drive protesters away from the parliament building and lawmakers were evacuated through an underground tunnel. Later, Defense Minister Aidan Dual announced that the army had been deployed to help handle the security emergency. A Reuters journalist counted the bodies of at least five protesters outside parliament. Kenya Medical Association reported that 31 people were injured with 13 shot with live bullets and four with rubber bullets. They called for safe medical corridors to protect medical staff and ambulances. Bruto, who won the election nearly two years ago on a platform to support Kenya's working poor, faces pressure from international lenders to cut deficits. The finance bill aims to raise an additional $2.7 billion in taxes to reduce Kenya's heavy debt load. The White House stated that the United States was closely monitoring the situation in Nairobi and Erbe and urged calm. Ambassadors from Britain, the US, and Germany expressed deep concern over the violence. Opposition leaders are calling for President Ruto to step down and for the withdrawal of the finance bill. Kenyan activist Obama, Obama half-sister of former US, President Barack Obama was among those tear gassed during the protests. services across Kenya experienced severe disruptions disruptions during the police crackdown. Protests in Nairobi began peacefully but escalated with police firing tear gas. Clashes also occurred in Eldoret, Mombasa, Kisumu and Garissa. The current protests, led by a youth-driven online movement, have no official leader and have grown increasingly bold. Initially focused on the finance bill, their demands now include President Ruto's resignation. As the situation develops, we will continue to provide updates. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon for more news on this and other important stories. Thank you for watching and stay safe.